Hi guys, are we ready for Thursday? It's body balance flexibility. So it is a 45 minute class this evening. So we do a nice couple of warm ups to get your muscles warmed up and then we will get into the stretching exercises and then we'll have a nice relaxation at the end and um, so you can go away feeling nice and chilled. So I'm just going to give everybody a couple of minutes just to join us. So I'll just run through a few things with you. So you don't need any equipment and um, you don't need trainers on. So we just do the class in bare feet. If you've got a mat, great. If you've not got a mat, don't worry. You can use your carpet, a towel, whatever suits you. Um, I'll give you plenty of options. So just do it at your own level. Everybody's flexibility is different. So you just take it the level that's right for you. And if you do the class more, obviously your flexibility will get better. Uh, make sure you've got some water to hand. So if you need a drink, just grab one and join back in when you are ready. So we'll just see what the time is. So as I say, just give another couple of minutes and then we will get started. Okay, I think. I think we will get started. Okay, so I hope you can all hear me okay. So I'm gonna pop the music on and we will get going. Okay, so if you're sat down, get yourself up. I'll pop the music on and let's get going. So Tai Chi warm up to start with. So I want you to step your feet out nice and wide, sink down in the legs and roll your shoulders back. We're gonna circle to the right, to the left, and then slow it down. Take it back, across, across, and slow it down. So I want you to think about your breathing. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out at the end. So we're just nicely getting the body warm. if you want to is to rise up on your toes so again you choose the option that's right for you hold it here and down excellent so 
got two sun salutations, so like I said, we're going to get you nicely warm for the stretches. Feet together, roll your shoulders back, breathe in and lift the arms, exhale and bend the knees and fold. All the way down. Lunge your leg nearest knee back, hold. We're going to push back to a downward dog, so hips and bottom to the ceiling, push through the arms and legs. Come across into plank, drop to your knees, elbows in, we go halfway, and then we drop all the way down. Small lift to start with, squeeze your shoulder blades, release it down, top your toes, push back to downward dog, bend the knees, leg near his knee, want to lunge it through. Make sure your knees in line, knee down, toes down, lift the arms, lean back, and release. Come back on your toe, well done, step in and fold, right. Try and think now about one movement, one breath. Inhale as you lunge back, chest lifts. Exhale as you push to your downward dog. Come across into your plank. So you can drop to your knees or you can stay on your toes. we go halfway and then drop all the way down. Let's take a lift. Take your toes, push back. Bend the knees, that back leg is going to lunge. Knee down, toes down. Let's lift the arms. Lean back, release. Rise up on your toe. And let's step in. We're going to hold it here. Relax the arms, relax the shoulders. Let's rise. Fold. Leg nearest knee steps back. Let's push back to downward dog. Come across into plank. So drop to your knees or stay on your toes. So you choose halfway. Drop all the way down. Lift through. Stretch your spine. Downward dog. Leg nearest knee lunges. Big step through. See if you can stay up on the toe. If not, drop to the knee. Lean back. Keeping that balance if you're up on your toe. Release. Step in and fold. Rise. And fold. So we're going to finish the sequence off into the next track. Lunge back. Chest lifts and push back to your downward dog. Come across the plank. So remember those options, drop to your knees, stay on your toes, halfway, all the way down, lift through, take your toes, push back, downward dog. Bend the knees, back leg lunges through. See if you can stay up on the back toe, if not, drop the knee, let's rise, release, step in, rise, so we've got a new sun salutation sequence now, reach the ceiling, lean back, release the arms, clasp the hands, lift the chest, Let's fold forwards, push back to your downward dog, press through, leg nearest knee, lift to three legged dog, lift, then bend the knee and pull the toe across and open up your hip. Let's lunge that leg to the outside of the hand, turn into the knee, open up to knee. Well done. Let's go either way, your downward dog. We lift the leg, we bend the knee, we pull the toe across, open the hip, lunge to the outside of the hand, turn into the knee, open, release down, step the back leg in so your legs are nice and wide, let's rise, hold it here, reach to the ceiling, 
Lean back. Release the arms. Clasp the hands. Lash round. Fall forward. Push back to downward dog. Press through. Leg nearest knee lifts. Bend the knee. Pull the toe across. Lunge to the outside of the hand. Turn into the knee. And open. Release. Push back. Let's go the other way. Lift the leg. Bend the knee. Pull across. Lunge to the outside of the hand. Turn in. Open. Release. Step the back leg in. Feet wide. We're going to bend the knees and rise. Here we go. Hold it here. Release. Are we feeling warmer? Okay. Let's work on the legs. So legs nice and wide. One for ten. One for ten. We're going to triangle. Straighten the legs. Square to me. Lift the arms. Strong arms. Tip the hip. Reach. Breathe in. And then breathe out and come to your triangle. If you know what you're doing, you can go all the way down. This is your first option. We hold it here. Legs straight. So you get the stretch down the back of the hamstring. If you want a little bit more, take it a bit further. You can go all the way down, go all the way down. Don't let the chest drop forwards. Pull the arm back, lift the chest to the ceiling. Wrap the arm around the back and hold. As you wrap the arm, this will help you lift the chest. If it's too much down here, then you can come up here. So you choose the option that's right for you. Bend the knee. Let's rise to some warrior. Left. Sink, exhale, over you can. Reach, breathe. So feel that nice stretch down the side. As you reach across. Release, eye gaze straight ahead. Test the balance. Step in. I want to lift the back leg off. Open the hip towards me. Pull the top arm to the ceiling. Keep lifting that leg. Slowly release, hands behind, lift the back leg, so all the strength in the back leg, so you should feel this, down here, you should lift in and lean it back, you're hiking it, change sides, legs wide, turn the feet, legs straight, square, Reach, breathe in, reach across, breathe out, and over you come. Here to start with, feel that stretch. If you want a little bit more, go a bit further. If you want to go all the way down, you can. It's up to you with your eye gaze. You can go straight ahead, or you can look to the floor. We're going to wrap the arm around the back. Here we go. Wrap and lift. We're going to bend that knee. We're going to rise. Lift. Sink. Exhale. Over we come. Reach across. Breathe. Slowly release, eye gaze, step in, lift the back leg off, rotate your hips towards me, lift nice, top arm to the ceiling, slowly release, hands behind, lift the chest, just lean back, all the strength in that leg, Go 
release, feet together, we're going to sit down, arms, we drop, lift the chest, and we drop again, drop, and again, you give me one more, release the knees, and release, really well done, if you need a drink, grab one, ready for balance, Wait to just rise up on your toes. Wait to push your palms of your hands back and lift your chest to the ceiling. Release. We're going to take hold of the right knee. Here we go. Lift the knee. And hug the knee in. Side arm out for balance. We're going to lift that heel, take hold of the front of the shin, and then sweep the leg around and sweep the arm. This is called flower pose. And then dive the chest forward, so shoot the leg behind, and just dive. Belly rise. Can we ever go the other way? So lift the left knee. Lift the knee in. Yeah, to the side, arm out for balance. Lift the heel. Nice, sweep the leg. Dive the chest, tap the toe if you need to, and lift up. Slowly rise. Can we go the other way again? Right side. Lift the knee. Hold. Knee out to the side, arm up for balance. Push the palms back, just breathe. Hold that release. 
Well done. Okay, we're now going to work your hips. So your feet want to be slightly wider than your hips. And we're just going to fold forwards to start with. Relax the chest, relax the arms. And just release your spine. More that balance. We're going to come down to a hindi squat. So we have a couple of options now. If you know what you're doing, you can go straight into your hindi squat. If not, come with me. Feet to the side. We drop the knees and we lift the chest. So this is your easiest option. You can hold it here. This is fine. If you want a bit more of a challenge, see if you can come all the way down and hold it here. If you're all the way down, your heels need to be flat to the floor. Push the knees out to the side. Lift the chest. It's quite a challenge, this one. So if you can't get down, it's absolutely fine. We're going to open up to the right side. Here we go. Open. Let's go the other way. Open. Come back to centre. Hold. Couple more breaths. all the way down to the floor. Drop the knees, spiral twist, so lift the hips, push the hip forwards, eye gaze to the floor, so the stretch is here, across the front of the head. Lift the arm, open up to the ceiling. the knees and then just place the elbows on the outside of the knees lift up tall and then I want you to just slightly press down and I want you to hold up four three two one release it try that again so let's press this is called PNF stretching this is how we get more flexible we hold for four for three, for two, for one, and release it off. Let's go the other way. So bend the knees, give me that spiral twist, push the hip forwards, eye gaze to the floor. lunges, slowly release down, we're going to push back to your downward dog, push back, and then bend the knees, and lunge one leg through to the outside of the hand, and drop the hip, and I want to push back, to go the other way, I want you to lunge it through, and drop, and then push back, let's try that again, we lunge, we drop, and then we push back, so everybody will go at different speeds, some will go faster, some will go slower. More, most important is that the leg comes all the way through. So if that takes you a bit longer, that's fine. So don't go too fast, but you can't get the leg all the way through. Keep going. Well done, we're nearly there. We can stick with it. Keep breathing. Well done. Give me one more. Hold it here. Drop to your knees. Come round to face me. Then we're going to go into frog pose. Knees wide. Feet wider than your knees. And then we to come down on your elbows. Push the hip to the floor. So come forwards, and then push back. And I want you to just see where you get that stretch. So just 
have a check. So we're behind. Your feet wider than your knees. So we're staying in this move into the next track. If it's too much, bring your feet together. Just makes it easier. But if you can, see if you can stay with me in the full frog pose. I just want you to slowly roll the knees in towards the floor. And I want you to hold it. So hold that stretch. Two. One. Release it off. So again, push back. See how that feels. And then bring it forwards and just see how that feels too. Just try that again. So push back. And then bring it forwards. If you can't feel the stretch, take your legs wider. Let's try that again with rolling the knees in. So roll the knees in. Hold it. For four. For three. For two. For one. Release it off. Good stuff. Hold it here. Couple more breaths. That is a really tough stretch. Bring your feet together, push yourself back, come round. A couple of options now. So the easiest option is cross legged. If you want a little bit more, I want you to take hold of the left foot and I want you to place it on top of the right leg. So this is half low to it. Flex the foot or you can bring the leg a bit lower. Make sure both bum cheeks are on the floor and lift your chest. forwards and drop the chest come forwards towards me walk the hands if it gets too much remember come out there come into the cross leg let's rise up let's try that pin stretching again so lift the leg flex the foot so your knees high this time and then push on the toe, see so your foot's flexed. Place the elbow on the knee. And then I want you to press down. And then we're gonna hold it. Four, three, two, one. And I want you to release it off. I'm gonna try that again. So press down. Hold it for four. change sides. So if you're in the cross legged, cross your legs the opposite way. If you're the same as me, come into your half lotus but the opposite way. Both thumb cheeks to the floor and lift your chest. Let's walk forwards. Drop the chair. Let's rise up. Try that PNF stretching again. Lift the foot, flex the foot, push on the toes, press your elbow, then I want to push down, press down. Hold it for four, for three, for two, for one, release it off. Try that again. Press down. Well done. Roll back on your mat. So we're now going to stretch your waist. So we need to roll back and just tuck your knees in. Tuck your knees in. And just bring the arms to the side. Press the shoulders. And I want you to drop your knees towards me. So drop them in. Make sure your knees are stacked. And then I want you to lift your head 
and turn it the opposite way to your knees. So it really doesn't matter which way you go, so we're going to do both sides. So you should feel that nice stretch across the waist. straight to the top leg. You can hold it or support it with the hand. You can take hold of your toe. Or you can stay with the knee stacked. Once you've got the move, I want you to turn your head the opposite way to give you more of that stretch. Straighten the top leg if you want to, or you can stay with the knee stacked. Support it with the hand, you can take hold of your toe. So it's more where you get that stretch. To the chest, take hold the back of the thigh. Push the heel to the ceiling, flex the foot, bend the knee, and hook the knee in. Push the heel. and hold this time, holding your hamstring stretch. So we can stay here, you can take hold the back of the calf, you may even want to straighten your back, your bottom leg, I want you to flex the foot, so it's an active stretch, we're going to point the toe, so point the toe, and then flex the foot. So I want you to feel the difference in the stretch, as you point your toe, and then 
lunge, you flex the foot, release, let's change sides, and in the end, push the heel to the ceiling, straighten the leg, so you should feel a stretch down here, bend the knee, straighten the bottom leg. So you choose what's right for you. Foot flexed. Let's point the toe. Point the toe. And then flex the hands. So you should feel the difference. One to the other. Point the toe. Flex the foot. Take your knees in. Push yourself up. We're going to rack doll. So your feet are hip distance apart, fall forwards, take hold of the elbows, lift the hips and bottom to the ceiling, Lift up tall. So we're going to place one hand down, reach the other up. We're going to come across into a side stretch. So we need to reach towards your toes, lifting the chest to the ceiling. So breathe in and breathe out as you draw. You want to have your knees slightly bent, that's absolutely fine. Everybody's different, everybody's got different flexibility, so you just go as far as you feel comfortable. Well done, if you can. Strange sides, one hand, reach, and over you can. So lift the chest to the ceiling as you reach across. So exhale. Each 
going to bring the hands behind. So remember, if you want to bend your knees slightly, you can do. And we're just going to tip forward, but I want you to keep your back nice and flat. So you may find it easier to keep the hands behind, to keep your back flat. Or, if you want a bit more, see if you can bring the hands forward, keep the back flat, and just drop the elbows. And again, with each breath, walk the hands a bit further forward. ready for the relaxation. So I want you to roll back on your mat. So it's up to you, whether you want your legs long, your knees bent, and just bring the arms to the side. I just want you to lie in a comfortable position. Some people prefer to lie on your side or your front, and that's fine. You may even want to sit up and just close your eyes. I want you to just take a deep breath in and just very slowly breathe out. Let's try that again. Breathe in and then breathe out. So if you have any tension in your neck, to roll your head from one side and then to the other. Just nice and slowly, one side and to the other. Just when you're ready, just let your head rest back in the centre. Slowly spine is in a neutral position. As you press the shoulders and the arms in towards the floor. I want you to just think about that breathing. So let your mind just drift away. And you let your body
one knee in towards the chest and then just slowly bring the other, tuck the knees in and just gently rock from side to side and just release your spine. And just when you're ready either roll onto the side or push up through centre and just come to sit in. Just bring the arms forward, drop the head and just push the arms away. together, exhale, just come through centre. One more breath, breathe in and breathe out and hold it here. Very, very well done, well done to you all. Thank you for joining me this evening, I hope you enjoyed the class. And I will see you same time next week. So don't forget, we've got Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Tuesdays is the um, strength session, which is a 30 minute session. And then obviously tonight's the bit longer session where we get the 45 minutes where we do the flexibility. So enjoy the weekend and I will see you all next week.